Yo yo what's up everybody hope you are having a good day and welcome to another video of Call of Duty Mobile In this video I'm going to be opening my very first mythic edition of this game And it's going to be the Peacekeeper and Now this gun I think they did a silent buff to this gun I don't know about you but I, I used this gun pre-release of this mythic version and it wasn't so good But ever since they released the mythic version You know I've been using the epic skin and I've been straining with it, I, so I, I don't know. I think they did a... It makes sense too, you know. It's kind of a business strategy anyway. To make a buff for... Potentially their biggest selling uh, package, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty much speed forwarding this part process. Because, um, you know, everybody has been posting... Uh, a lot of people, rather, has been posting about this. So you don't really need to see how expensive it is. It is expensive, all right. It is expensive. So, um, in total, in summary, I've spent about twenty three thousand nine hundred sixty four CP. Okay, in case you're wondering, that's about. Let me see. It's roughly about three hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, three hundred and thirty dollars Singapore dollars, right? So it's freaky expensive. Uh, I'm I'm broke. I don't think I'll be buying any more legendaries. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah so here we go i've gotten the first my very first mythic peace make uh peace i almost say peacemaker uh yeah peacekeeper so um you know the the problem with this gun is uh on, <laughs> on top of getting the, the the skin right you still need to upgrade it and to upgrade it you gotta spend more you gotta spend more on these uh mythic cards it's so silly I can't believe I've been drawn into it, but, you know, why not? To hell with it! <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't fully upgrade the gun, though. Just something, no. I upgraded it to, I think, level 4 only. Yeah, I don't see the point in having the rest of the, the ascended parts of this gun. So, all you need, really, it's level 4. That's it. Other than that, I don't see the point in it. Unless you are collectible, you, you want it totally which probably i will go for in future maybe when i have a little bit more mythic cards and there's nothing out there right and when i have extra money <laughs> so anyway yeah here goes the loadout that i've been using for the peacekeeper uh it's pretty much the standard loadout that i've seen and tested for for based on what I've the I've seen from other YouTubers and other guides that I've seen around. Pretty much this is the standard standard loadout for this gun. Okay, the only variation to this gun would be the barrels. You can either choose a long barrel, the well forged for more medium, you know, medium range kind of uh, loadouts, as well as um the the rapid fire, right? So I I prefer to build this more as a longer range, but it depends on the map also, right? Firing range, I'll definitely use this gun. So I'll probably be having some lo other loadouts as well, like mid-range and long-range loadouts, uh, depending on the the map. So yeah, here we go. This is my long-range loadout. I'm going to show you a gameplay um, from Domination Firing Range. So I'm going to be using the long-range for this gun. And uh, let me just put on the charms. Why not, right? I spent so much, I might have just put on the damn charms. Uh, yep, here we go. So this will be my loadout for the Peacekeeper Mark II. As I spoke, well forged barrels. You can use it for medium range maps, right? So let me go on ahead and put on the skin as well. The Firebrick skin, which looks so weird. Like a uh, sign of uh, Juggernaut. <laughs> like Juggernaut with uh, Magneto and mated with, uh, you know, what was that? Thanos. <laughs> so yeah, so really cool animations you can see. Meteorite jumping, dropping on that uh, opponent. And it changes color as you go. So you kill more, you get a change color. The reload animation is awesome as well. And uh, he has that tactical sprint as you can see from here. Right? So it's pretty cool. It's one. I think it's the first one with the tactical sprint. I don't see any other one. So thank you for watching. And um... You know, remember to subscribe for more videos. Uh, I really encourage you to buy that. So, thank you, and I hope to see you soon.